Mr Cullip, should we ban vaping in public places like pubs and restaurants? Uh, no, I don't think we, I don't think we should. I think it'd be quite counterproductive. I mean, we want if we want to encourage people to quit smoking, you need to encourage these products. And vape bans would have the opposite effect; uh, would make people think that they're dangerous, which is the opposite uh, message of what we want. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I mean, how dangerous are they? How much of a risk is there to health with vaping? Uh, well, the Royal Coll College of Physicians and Public Health England have, uh, have looked into the evidence and, and they tend to believe that they're at least 95% safer than smoking, um, possibly even more, but they're, they're very reserved and conservative about it. So they are um, a much safer alternative to The reality smoking. is they're still so new, we don't actually know, do we? Well, there, were, there was a lot of research ongoing uh, and, and so far the uh, the, uh, the research has, has come up with pretty positive results. I yeah. mean, these things are always uh, evolving. But is, there, is there such a thing as passive vaping, though? Because you, you, you sit near one of these people and they seem to make these enormous clouds of smoke as if they enjoy doing that. Um, it can't be very healthy. Well, again, Public Health England says that there is, there's no... Um, actual or, or, or anticipated harm to bystanders from vaping. Um, the, the cloud thing is probably uh, a, an etiquette issue more than anything. You know, well, just to annoy people, you mean? Yeah, vapors should be considerate. If they're using high-powered devices that give off big clouds of vapor, they, they maybe should think twice about doing that in public places. But, so but starter kits and, and the sort of things that people use to initially give up smoking, they release very little vapor at all. So are young people doing it to be trendy and fashionable, or is it, is it genuinely helping people to stop smoking? Well, when you see young people, uh, it's important to remember that, that uh, most of them, you know, the vast majority of people using vape, uh, vaping kit and, and e-cigarettes are former smokers, so that's a good thing. Um, it might be something that's, that's trendy, but, um, you know, it's much better than if they would take up smoking. So, in a word, vaping in public places should continue? Yeah, in, in fact, in, you could make an argument that it could be, should be encouraged because if, if you want to show a difference between vaping, which is 95% safer according to the evidence, and smoking, then you want to have a, some sort of uh, encouragement or enticement for people to try them. Mr Cullip, very good to talk to you tonight. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Peter.